Kia ora and welcome back. My name is Zoe Stiebe, your vocal coach for today. And in today's video, as part of my Mine a Month series, I'm going to be taking a look at Say My Name from the musical Beetlejuice, sung by Alex Brightman and Sophia and Caruso. So let's see what they're up to with their vocal technique. Before we like totally geek out about these two incredible singers, I just have to say, if you want to learn more about singing technique, hit that subscribe button and check out the link in the description below because my brand new online singing course is out now. Check it out. Let's see what they're up to. They're both incredible singers. You could use a buddy. Don't you want a pal? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Girl, the way I see it, your daddy should be leaving and you should stick around and kill him. What? Nothing. So Lydia, don't end yourself. Defend yourself. Daddy is the one you should name. Together we'll exterminate. Assassinate! No. The finer points can wait, but first you gotta say my name. I don't know your name. Well, I can't say it. How about a game of charades? Yes, let's play it. Two words. Okay. Second word. Right. Drink. No. Beverage. No. Wine. No. Juice. Yes. Okay, first word. Okay. Say my name three times. Three times in a row it must be spoken unbroken. Ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Oh, they're just incredible. Okay. I know that this isn't the best recording of this song, but I really wanted you to take a look at musical theater song away from the production so that you can really focus on the voice as well. So Alex Brightman, I actually did a video about this over here <laughs> um, where I talked about his vocal technique and how he creates that sound. Now, he is actually using a rattle, which uh, is a very standard metal vocal technique where the arytenoids actually rock together um, or they rub together to create that sound. And you can see it here in the video of his vocal folds. The ENT surgeons calls it, call it a ventricular vocal fold phonation. So basically he's using his false vocal folds to create the sound and that is again a really standard metal technique for growls and rattle but we'll get more onto what Sophia Caruso is up to at the end and how you can create that rattle as well. <laughs> Incredible, incredible. So Sophia and Caruso is a fantastic belter, right? Like you really heard it there as well. Let's go and have a little bit of a look at actually what she was doing and how you can create that sound. This is in the region of, and honestly, no one can ever be like 100% certain about whether she's actually belting or whether she's using a bit more of a stronger mix. So taking the thick vocal folds further up in the range until you get it on a spectrogram to have a look at what the performance are up to. So let's just go and have a look at the, her solo. Let's just go and have a look at her solo and we'll dissect it a little bit. Don't you wanna see that Very cool. So the way that you can create that sound is 
In my opinion, I work with students uh, strengthening the thick vocal folds to that chest voice sound. And then we work on strengthening the head voice or the thin vocal fold sound at the top. And then it's easier to blend through that passaggio or the voice break. Um, I'm not a fan of just like pushing up over the break because... I think in my experience with working with singers is although you might be able to get like one or two semitones above the passaggio with a slightly thicker, more beltier sound, it means that you don't end up creating a nice smooth register shift and you end up just pushing up there and then flipping into a light head voice sound. And you want to really strengthen that top of the range. So the way that you strengthen the top of the range is you've got to take all the air out. And we start that by starting the vocal fold onset. So, um, if you want to, I'm like, keep looking to my piano, but it's not actually on at the moment. So um, the way that you can strengthen that sound is you can make a little puppy dog sound to get that lovely thin vocal fold and not pushing any air with a would be pushing air with the vocal folds open. And then you're going to go and hold back the air as much as possible to make sure that the vocal folds stay closed. So try it again. And once you've got a handle on that, you can go. You notice I had to do it again because the first one contained a little bit too much breath. And then I tried it again, closed my vocal folds, focused a little bit more on it. And when you've strengthened that top part of your range, then you can start working on blending and working on that belt. Honestly, I could never get into like one little video about how to belt like sheep because she's been doing this for a very, very long time. Um, and it's also about, you know, where she grew up, what her accent is, the way she speaks um, away from singing as well. It all plays a huge role in your singing, beginning of your singing journey. Yeah. I mean, you can learn to do pretty much anything with your voice, but if you're interested in actually working with Alex Brightman, because he is a genius, my vocal studio, along with Live Out Loud Audition Coaching, is I'm so, so excited to host him in an online masterclass. We're going to be looking at acting through song. Uh, so if you want to join us for the seriously limited availability for this masterclass because we might want to make it nice and cozy for everybody uh, and make it a really supportive environment, then check out the link in the description below for more information on how you can book in for that. But oh, I don't know what else I could say. I could go like wax lyrical for hours about the two of these guys, but I'm just like absolutely gobsmacked at being able to have Alex Brightman join my studio for a masterclass. I'm like fangirling out and I can't wait to ask him all of my questions. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that we can geek out about vocal technique every single week. Uh, let me know down in the comments though what I should have a look at next as part of my minor month series in the lead up to Halloween, looking at songs only in the minor key. I'll see you guys soon. Happy practicing, happy singing. See you guys next time. Kaki